Police canines can be the reason a life is saved or a crime is solved. Today, Pittsburgh public safety workers officially welcome the city's newest badge carrying members. Pam Serrato introduces us to the three newest additions, including Zane, the city's new comfort dog. The law enforcement officer's memorial on the North Shore was the stage for the sweet swearing in. Joining the ranks of the Pittsburgh Public Safety Team, the second oldest canine program in the country, currently with 15 canines, are these beauties. Cappy, the police bloodhound, who along with handler officer Kevin Merkel, will assist with locating missing persons. Including missing children, people with dementia and other medical issues and anyone else who needs to be located. Dodger, the lovely black Labrador, joins the city's fire detection unit. Dodger, with Detective Mike Burns, will perform a unique role. Dodger is the city's first accelerant detection dog. He works with the fire investigation unit, which is made up of investigators from Pittsburgh Bureau of Fire and detectives from the Pittsburgh Bureau of Police. And then there's Zane, the golden retriever comfort puppy, the first of its kind, already so popular, he has over a million views on social media. He and Officer Victoria Birch are part of the peer support team. Zane, whose name in Hebrew means gift and prayed for, fits right in at Zone 4, where he has helped officers coping with the trauma from responding to the Tree of Life tragedy. Before the Tree of Life, if you would have asked me if a dog belongs on a police force in this capacity, I probably would have said no actually um, but we brought them in for the tree of life for debriefings and it worked we need to take care of each other and this is just one tool while today's badge ceremony for the pups drew an adoring crowd Pittsburgh Mayor Bill Peduto says the dogs play a critical role they serve with their partner and they protect their partner at all times there is a bond that has been built between the canine officers and our police officers and firefighters Pam Serrano KDKA News.